co-design practices are directly related to the digital culture um, because of our ability in the codified and share information, and also because the dissemination of information and communication technologies and the development of hacker and do it yourself cultures. Uh, they enabled non-organized individuals and collectives to emerge as protagonists, as new subjects of public participation, and to become presumers. These technologies applied to the architectural and urbanistic process, which I call technopolitical interfaces of participation. They drive discourses on the commons, hackable cities, shareable cities, opposing to or complementing the top-down smart cities hegemonic practices. Last decade, Lisbon City Council has been investing in a smart city ecosystem. Um, open data, big data, even participatory platforms have been offered and tested top-down, made in a economic uh, approach directed to startups and big techs. Besides local development and also um, has also been a political and economic investment here. And as you know, local development policies value first and foremost the decision making capacity of local actors rely on their self organization and on the construction of collaboration networks. While this poses challenges to the administrative structures, it also triggers new forms of citizenship to which digital technologies can be very useful. Of course, they are dangerous. They can be also highly controller of our lives and vital resources. So this must be closely investigated. Then in the context of my doctoral thesis, I coordinated an online hacker challenge called Hackabit for co-producing digital tools in support of local initiatives, aiming to enable better means for monitoring local development policies, as well as expand the capacity for collaboration between various actors of territorial intervention, a local development goal. The challenge launched us ask, asked, how is our neighborhoods using digital tools and open data to develop our neighborhoods? We received ideas from the local initiative, tech community, academy, and ecosystem of social innovation. Ideas for enhanced collaboration between them, space for citizen deliberation, citizen data production, documentation, and sharing of experience. The appropriation civic hacking hackabip sought to provide a methodology infrastructure adaptable to different contexts and contributes to the establishment of protocols between communities of practice, uh, organizations, and governments in the use of the technopolitical interfaces generated for the local development. The generated technopolitical interface apps and mockups produced in Hackabit allow a data agency that characterizes civic action, urban life, the quality of public space, useful for the construction of indicators and monitoring indexes of the local development, and for the self-learning of communities of practice. They also indicate interactions between actors, citizens, local governments, associations, traders, hackers, in processes of use, adaptation, replication, appropriation of this interface, which will be able to generate protocols and guarantee the sustainability of both the interface and the communities of practice, autonomy in the production of information and knowledge about territories, local resources, social capital, uh, technology, among other factors, um, and urban common of great importance to hackable seeds. A protocol with great potential that could emerge from the interaction provoked in Hackabips, because um, the inclusion of procedures suggested by some of the created interface in the official processes of the uh, Lisbon City Council. So small scale experiments could serve to create a culture of co-governance and decision sharing. 
teaching and research uh, institutions as well as civic laboratories and community spaces have great contributions to give along with the discussion of problems, the experimentation of solutions, the exchange between technical and non-technical knowledge and simulating communities of practice. Co-design practices can be improved with the conscious use of participatory technopolitics and the stimulation of digital culture. <laughs>